right? SK Lifestyle. Hey, and don't forget, be sure you subscribe to SK Lifestyle. Yeah, that's right. You just want to hit that subscribe button right there and that notification bell. Thanks everybody for joining me today on SK Lifestyle as I go over how to take off and put on a registration sticker for your boat or jet ski. Now of course if it's a brand new boat or ski, it won't have a sticker to take off so you can kind of fast forward. But if you have your own or you just bought a used boat then there's probably one on there already. So you want to use a heat gun and if you don't have one then you want to use a hair dryer. That'll work just the same. It'll probably take a few seconds longer um, to get the heat that you kind of need. Uh, to be able to really pull it off but that's fine it'll definitely be a lot faster than just using your hands and a few tools but if that's all you have then hey go for it try to use a little uh, goof off or something to assist yourself and really try to take the time either way no matter what method you're doing and pull the sticker off all in one piece just to save your time you save yourself time and hassle of added cleanup and so forth now you see I kind of use the heat gun to get the whole sticker and then hit the edges in the center as I start to peel it off and there you go magic came off all in one piece and that's really what you want to be able to see there now despite how clean it looks uh, you know from the screen and at your naked eye when you're standing there yep bye bye to the old sticker there is going to be some kind of debris and so forth underneath little little bits of glue maybe some dirt if it started to lift up or something like that so you really want to clear uh, clean it off um, you can see I'm using some isopropyl alcohol. Uh, you can also use, again, like goof off or something if you if you don't have the alcohol. Um, and at the very least, just use some soap and water if that's all you have. Um, just because you do, you don't really want those dirt particles underneath. Otherwise, when you lay the sticker on, it's going to end up having these little tiny pinprick bubbles, and it just won't look as clean. Um, and if it's around the edges where it happens, then you know it's certainly possible that the sticker ends up lifting up and you know peeling off or, or kind of looking a little messed up over time so with the new sticker you can see I folded it in half to just have the one sticker that I'm working with and I kind of peeled it off the edge a little bit so that I can immediately start to lay it down now you saw me line it up so now I know it's absolutely perfect uh, perfectly in line with the letters and numbers to the left and then I just slowly start to lay it down with my finger now if you have a credit card or something you can use that to lay it down or if you have vinyl tools then you can use that as well but you know sometimes just a uh, a nice thumb and thumbnail uh, works the best and just going back and forth slowly and laying it down and making sure each piece is really pressed in and yeah that's pretty much it now once you get this laid down you can certainly hit it with a little more heat to make sure that it kind of stays but it should really be fine um, and there you go just a nice clean look so if you like this be sure to hit that like button. I appreciate your time. Hit that subscribe button as well. SK Lifestyle. See you later.